Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Well, today we're gonna work on making this cute little board. We, of course, you already know, we got our new molds in. So all I did is I used the clay molds and I overlapped them and then I used a piece of decoupage paper on the side of it. Let's get started. I just um, did a whitewash over this board and I'm just gonna put this aside for a second. And I've got my new mold and I've already put a little cornstarch, just put some cornstarch in the pieces you're using and it just helps it release a little bit easier. And I'm using my IOD air dry clay. It's just, especially when you get a nice new package, it's so easy to work with. All I'm doing is just pushing it against the rim. I know a lot of people use little like spatulas or tools to make the back smooth. And this piece is gonna be layered, so you're gonna be bending and moving it a little bit anyway. What you really wanna make sure is you've got your nice edges. That's what's nice about the micro -rate. And if you're using with this clay or any air dry clay, you need to make sure you keep it sealed because it dries out very quickly. And what I always say is roll the mold, not the clay, and you see, there it goes, it just pops right out. Now let's do another one of those. We need two of the big ones and two of the small ones. Okay, let's do our small ones. And we'll do the two big pine cones. I need to do two big pine cones and one small one, so I'll just do that little guy right now, too. And let's do a poinsettia, and I think we're ready to put it together. Look at that, look how nice that just pops out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put these together. This is how I did it. One of my big evergreens right there, and I had one of my evergreens coming down. And you really could just play with it to see what you like. You wanna be careful because they are a little fragile still. So we're just having a little overlapping there. I'm gonna line them up first before I glue them down, just so I know where I'm going. So now, if I've got it where I think I like it, and I'm gonna start for, from the bottom ones first and glue them down. And I found with this, it's easier to glue these down when they're wet, especially when you're overlapping, because if they get start getting too dry, you're not gonna be able to manipulate them very much or they'll just break or start cracking. just using Aileen's Tacky Glue. The Tight Bond Quick Grab is really probably the best. I like that one, I just ran out. So we are using this one today. And anywhere you're even laying on top, just kind of very carefully press it down, but you just don't want to um, push on the image and distort the image at all. So when you're putting your glue on the back of these, you need to be a little bit mindful that you have tiny little sliver edges that come out. So, and you don't want to break those. So just be really, just, just be mindful of that when you're putting the glue on and pressing them down. And then decide how you want your little poinsettia. I'm just gonna kind of bring it down a little bit. So it all kind of, hopefully this all just looks like it flows together. Okay, so the clay I had just put on and it's still, it's not dry yet. So you wanna be real careful and use a, um, a softer brush and I'm just going to paint it in right now. And you could wait till it's dry. And if you're using a chalk base paint, it's a little thicker. So to get into all your little crevices, you may have to, you know, just water it down slightly. But if your clay is white, you don't want it 
You don't want to drench your clay either. I am just going to let this dry. And we're going to do our waxing and our decoupage. Instead of using this cute girl, you can see it came out of this paper and I just cut her head on there. I think I'm going to do a bird and do a different one, but you're going to get the same idea of what I'm doing. So no matter what image you use, I'm just kind of lining up where I think I might want him and I want part of the branch in here, but his head in here. So all I'm going to do is kind of just do a little crease so I know what room I have to work in. And I'm just going to use my paintbrush and just a little bit of water. And this, the paper I'm using is a little bit um, heavier, so it doesn't rip quite as easily. Let it soak a little. If I'm really good, I'll save these birds here and use them for another project. Okay, I think I'm gonna go around there. I don't want the straight edge here, so I'm just gonna rip that. That. I'm going to just decoupage him on here and it's gonna look like the branches coming up from the bottom. And I'm just using matte gel medium. You could use any type of decoupage medium that you really like using. So I'm just going to do a wash over this. Um, this still isn't completely dry, and it'd probably be better if it was completely dry, but I think this will work. And I'm using some burnt umber, but I'm just so it's just like a darker brown paint, but you could use whatever color you want mixed with lots of water. Just kind of get this on everywhere. So just use a paper towel or just whatever, you know, just something very soft. I actually am using a baby wipe here, believe it or not. Kind of rub some of this out. And you really want to get it before it starts drying. So now that I've got the wash on it, um, I lightly sand it around and I, prop I may have sanded a little much off the bird, but we're gonna see how it comes out with the wax. So I am just gonna wax this with the clear wax first. So I did let my clay dry before I did this part because it's just, you, you really don't want to try to do any heavy brushing on this. Otherwise, you're really gonna lose the, the uh, image of your mold. You're just gonna squish it down. I'm adding just a little bit of dark wax here and there. Now I'm gonna use some chalk and I am just gonna highlight a few little areas. So this one's a little darker than my other one, so I think just very lightly, since this clay is dry, I'm just gonna do just a real light, really light sand. And a lot of it just playing around with the look that you want for your, your own piece. So let's do our chalk. The last one I did the red on the poinsettia, so I think this time, I'm gonna do a really light green on the evergreen leaves. And I'm just using chalks. Um, there are a million varieties of chalks out on the market you can get. I did wax this, but I still want a little darker edge, so I am little black edging with the little black ink. And then when it's set a little, I know people don't usually poly over wax, but that's what I do to get my shine. And I'm just using a, um, just a shiny gloss sealer. Actually, it's just polyacrylic. Okay, just let him dry. 
So my other one had some script on here and that just happened to be on the paper, but I wanted something else added to him. So I'm just gonna use this little bit of transfer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So this is the one, the original one we did. And here's the one we did just now. And as you can see, they're really similar, but look what a different look you get just by using a little different paper and adding a different color. But whatever you do, have fun.